Well, it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed. He's got power. All the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by night's end. We have seen a lot of fighters expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pajeda not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pajeda, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. statement here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Black Mamba. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Alex Politan. Herb Dean, our referee Ready, for this one. Ready. Good. All right, here we go with round one action, and all eyes are on Poetan Alex Pineda. So many layers to his striking game, but you can argue chief among them in terms of his weapons, those cap kicks. He uses that weapon early on in fights, so certainly something that bears watching. We'll see if the decorated kickboxer Alex Pineda can get those leg kicks going early. That's a nice jab by him there. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, head kick lands now. Yep. Oh my goodness, these boys are going at it. Frantic pace early on to this one. Great punch, that is useful. It got checked. 
Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Well, every MMA fight begins on the feet, and that is music to the ears of Alex Pereira, who has found a home for that left hook early. I mean, that's his best shot, man. We have seen Alex Pereira land this left hook in kickboxing to finish Israel Asanya, and also inside the octagon where he knocked out Sean Strickland. It is such a powerful strike. Pereira is a master of it. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Pereira. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. I mean, over and over, he is taking these strikes to the head. Just touching him with the jab. Well, this striker knows one direction, that is forward. He knows one style, that is aggressive. And that's exactly what we've seen tonight. He has every intent of overwhelming every guy he's definitely to the octagon with. And he's doing that up to this point of the first round. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Well, thank God the left one's open, because that right eye is really starting to shut. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, missed on that one. That was a nice strike. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. Right on the button. Just over two minutes, round one. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. Might as well use it. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Man. Alex Pereira gets caught by that straight punch there. Ooh, right hand down the middle. Big elbow there, Lance. Once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Well, that calf is starting to show signs of bruising now. And you can tell in the way that he's walking. Starting to take an effect. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. Under a minute to go in the round. All right, so the narrative in this one has been Alex Pereira striking. He's landed a lot of power shots. Maybe the knockout will materialize in this round. And he breaks you down. Alex Pereira does not rush. He takes his time. He finds his spot to explode. He will beat you up. He will break you down over the course of time. And then when this is moment, bang, you see him put you out. We have seen this time and time again. The Sean Strickland fight comes to mind. Edesanya won comes to mind. When he gets a moment to put you out, he goes and he finds it. And that's why he's one of the best middleweights in the world. Oh, he gets tagged again. Nice combination. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Oh! Counter jab snaps the head back. That should get his attention. Warm sounds for the end of round one. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swell. Ready. Ready. Do Round it. two underway. Fighter blocks the punch. Well, there it is again, that left hook from Alex Pereira. He is in the zone tonight, Jim. I'm surprised you're still standing. Because Alex Pereira lands that left hook, generally you go to sleep. The guy is as powerful as anyone that we have seen in the UFC middleweight division. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. 
Oh, that is some severe swelling. I hate to speculate, not a doctor, but you might be staring at a fractured orbital there. Oh, straight punch, lands flush on the counter. Nice deception with his foot. Again, a broken record when it comes to the reach advantage. Certainly helped him out there. Oh! Defensively there. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and it's starting to show itself. front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. And that's that's the danger in the engagement there. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his crew. Oh! to show some visible signs of bruising now. You know, you can't even worry about what that high leg kick does now. You have to worry about the dividends that it will pay as we go forward in this fight. Well, at this point, that is as bad a cut as I have seen in some time. I think you gotta call in the ringside position. It's hard to watch, John. Like, that's why I turn my face when I see stuff like this. It's disgusting. It's like Wolverine's lip. Yeah. It's like when we see these types of cuts like this, it's hard for me to watch because I know that the only thing that can happen is the person gets more and more damaged. Why well, we told you we'd keep an eye on it, DC. That cut is starting to open up wider now, and he continues to target that area wisely. Well, when you saw it right away, it wasn't that bad. But as he continues to target it, you can start to see it opening up. Look for him to continue to go down that route to try to get this victory. 20 seconds left to go in round two. And there's that jab. Both guys appeared to land there. 10 seconds to go in the round. Two rounds in the books. Stop. All right, we're gonna stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. Where 
Round three of a possible five. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for this. Oh! Well, this UFC fight is sort of dissolving into a horror movie. I don't need to see any more damage inflicted. You don't have to... Oh! Circling to his right now. And the uppercut lands. He's hurt again. And that punch, no good. to put themselves in position to win this fight. Oh, this is another one of those ones where you might think about stopping it. Oh, yeah, we got blood all over the broadcast table. It's legit everywhere. It's all over. Oh, he gets up. The question is for how long? Oh, big left hand. Three minutes. Oh! Strikes you off of his back by today. Making all these shots count. And he's back up. Well, we wondered earlier why the... Oh, my goodness. That'll do it! Oh, my goodness! I mean, you gotta be kidding me. Everybody here inside this arena digesting what they just saw. That is not a TKO, folks. That is a clean... Knockout result tonight. I mean, just wow. What a performance by this young man knocking his opponent out with a single shot like that. Back inside the octagon once again, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 19 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Black Mamba. So there he is, the new UFC heavyweight champion, DC. I remember when that was your reality. I'm not sure I've ever seen you so emotional in the octagon. I mean, I was so excited. He could take a breath, but he better turn right around yeah, and yeah. focus on what's right behind him because there are sharks in the water the moment that belt changes hands. A lot of guys will be looking to take it from him, but congratulations to the champ. He's got his knife. 